The world today is experiencing a polycrisis, a set of interconnected, reinforcing global challenges. Climate, health, water, inequality, violence. Each of these is a crisis on its own. Together, they're reshaping the world and threatening the Caribbean's biodiversity and future. These crises cannot be tackled in isolation. Natural ecosystems have declined by 47% on average. Coastal socio-ecological systems, especially relevant to Caribbean states, are among the most impacted. Since 1970, global freshwater availability per person has decreased by 50%. One in four people now faces extremely high levels of water stress. Industrial development is a key driver. Non-communicable diseases are now the leading global causes of death. At the same time, zoonotic diseases continue to emerge and re-emerge, fueled by unsustainable systems of food production, consumption, trade, and climate change. The cascading effects of historical ecosystem conversion to monoculture and urban areas have resulted in chronic food insecurity and ecosystem fragility, which in turn relate to the high prevalence of non-communicable and vector-borne diseases in the Caribbean. The higher frequency of droughts, heat waves, and hurricanes reinforce these issues. In addition, the Caribbean's high dependence on global supply chains results in shocks when, for example, farming is affected in regions from where the Caribbean countries import food. Income inequality continues to rise. In 2021, it increased for 68% of the global population, with the Caribbean among the most unequal regions. Total billionaire wealth grew three times faster in 2024 than in 2023, while poverty rates remained stagnant. Violence is on the rise. With a 40% increase from 2023, 2024 marked the third consecutive year of rising civilian fatalities in armed conflicts. Meanwhile, 196 environmental defenders were killed in 2023. The crises we face today, whether environmental, economic, or social, are not isolated events. They are symptoms of deeper, interconnected structural issues. To effectively respond, we must look beyond the surface and address the underlying causes sustaining the current global model. According to the Transformative Change Assessment released by IPIS in 2024, three core indirect drivers lie at the root of biodiversity loss and nature's decline. First, a disconnection from and domination over nature and people. Second, the concentration of power and wealth. And third, the prioritization of short-term individual and material gains. These social patterns are not isolated. They are deeply interlinked and co-evolved together, reinforcing the systems that sustain the destructive status quo. Transformative change, as defined by IPIS, is a fundamental, system-wide reorganization across technological, economic, and social dimensions, including paradigms, goals, and values. It must be grounded in four key principles, equity and justice, pluralism, and inclusion, respectful and reciprocal human nature relationships, and adaptive learning and action. This change must trigger a fundamental systemic shift in one, our ways of thinking, knowing, and seeing, that is, our views. Two, our ways of organizing, regulating, and governing, that is, our structures. And three, our ways of doing, behaving, and relating, that is, our practices. Actors at all levels of societies can initiate transformative change at different temporal and spatial scales within their own spheres of influence. Visions, approaches, strategies, and actions for transformation are multiple and codependent. Shaped by the challenges and barriers cascading from the underlying causes of biodiversity loss and nature's decline. To facilitate this process, the IPIS 
Transformative Change Assessment summarizes 881 transformative visions across the world in five core themes that can help visualize where we want to go with transformative change. Regenerative and circular economy, community rights and empowerment, biodiversity and ecosystem health, spiritual reconnection and behavioral change, and innovative business and technology, along with six broad approaches for how transformative change can be moved forward, which it was demonstrated are most powerful when combined and brought in together. Systemic, structural, inner transformation, empowerment, knowledge co-creation, and science and technology and five complementary strategies that can help act now to make transformative change happen. Conserve and regenerate places of value for nature and people. Drive systemic change in the sectors most responsible for biodiversity loss and nature's decline. Transform economic systems for nature and equity. Transform governance systems to be integrative, inclusive, accountable, and adaptive shift societal views and values to recognize human nature interconnectedness. In December 2025, policymakers, scientists, indigenous peoples, local communities, and civil society actors from across the Caribbean will come together to hold a trialogue where the IPES Transformative Change Assessment will be central. The roadmap that this assessment provides to address the underlying causes of biodiversity loss and nature's decline is the fertile ground through which the trialogue will go beyond the surface, inspiring deeper conversations on equity, inclusion, and structural barriers in the Caribbean region.